Are, are you okay? Honestly, no. My uh, house burned down two weeks ago, and it's been a nightmare ever since. Oh my gosh, that's awful. I'm so sorry. No need to apologize. I just need help. I can't rebuild it, especially by myself. Yeah, well, what yeah, I'm sorry. I hate to interrupt the conversation, but I'm here too. I also don't have a house right now either. Wait, what, did your house burn down as well? Yeah, is, is everything okay? Yeah, no, everything's fine. It's, it's not on fire, that's for sure. We're just, we're renovating. We're tearing the carpet out for wood floors. Oh, um, so, so, so your house is fine? I, I just, it felt like we were talking about his house only. It just didn't feel fair. I mean, there are plenty of other houses in the city, right? Mine included. Right, um, but we weren't really just talking about houses. We were talking about his house that burned down. And it's not just my house. What do you mean? I don't know if my family is unlucky or what, but my father's house and his father's house, they all burned down. And <laughs> my family's been in that neighborhood for over 400 years, and it seems like our houses keep burning down. So move, right? I mean, that seems like the simplest solution, yeah? We can't just move. It's not that easy. All right, my family has been in that neighborhood for over 400 years. And we don't have the necessary resources to rebuild. And on top of that, it's like anytime someone asks if there's anything that they can do, it always ends up shifting the conversation to something else. And I'm just tired of it. I mean, I don't see how that can be true, right? I mean, how hard is it to leave your neighborhood? Where do you live? The south side. Right. I, I never really go down there here. It's pretty bad. Jabari, I'm so sorry that this has happened to you. And, and I, I want to help. I do. And I feel like I don't really know how to help. And you seem like such a genuinely awesome person. And this sounds stupid and unfair to say, but is there any way that you could help me understand how to be an ally or help me know what I can do? I appreciate that. In order for you to help, first off, you need... Oh. Oh. Of course. Are you okay? Does it look like I'm okay? By the looks of it, I'm the one that got the worst chair. So why did you sit in it? I didn't choose this chair. All right, we, we sat in the chairs with our names on it. Oh. Glad I got this one then. James, that's insensitive. Jabari, I'm so sorry. When we walked in, I noticed that some of the legs on your chair looked a little unstable, but I... Didn't know if I should mention it. You did? Wait, I, I wish you would have said something. I, so do I. I. I think I was afraid of saying the wrong thing because you're already kind of frustrated and I didn't want to become part of the problem. Okay, well, the problem is you not saying anything at all because it makes me feel like you didn't care because you could have stopped me from falling. You're right. I shouldn't have been silent. I'm sorry. James. Where do you live? Upper East Side of the city. That's where the big contractor business is. Yeah, the, uh, the owner of that company is a pretty good friend of mine. Maybe you could ask him if he could help by sending people and supplies to rebuild Jabari's house and the other houses in the neighborhood that have burned down. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think so. Well, why not? Well, because then there'd be fewer resources for my neighborhood. I mean, what happens if my house needs a repair, then they can't do it because we gave all the supplies to him. Wait, wait, wait. I've seen your neighborhood, and there is nowhere near the amount of damage that has been done to mine and my neighbor's houses. Plus, there is plenty of supplies to go around. Hey, look, man, I'm sure you will figure it out, okay? I mean, can we just change the subject here? Stop talking about burning houses and broken chairs. There are plenty of other worthwhile things in the world to be talking about. There are a lot of things to talk about, but my house burned down. All right, and it seems like no matter who I ask for help, no one does anything. Not you, not the house insurance people, no one. It seems like all the people that have the resources that can help, they're too self-absorbed and hesitant to share with anybody because they think they're gonna lose something. And I'm tired of it. What are you doing?
are you doing? I can't take this anymore. If he can't sit in the same comfort that we can, then I don't want to sit down. And neither should you. Yeah, I'm... I'm gonna stand with Jabari. Go ahead. I'm comfortable where I am. Look, Jabari. I can't even begin to understand the pain and the discomfort that you and your neighborhood have had to endure. I've driven by the South Side many times on my way to work, and I've seen the terrible destruction that you and your neighborhood have had to go through. And I hate to say it, but I've ignored it because I could. It didn't affect me personally. But not anymore. Where do we start? You can start by educating yourself. Learning about how and why my neighborhood keeps burning. All right, it's not just about you acknowledging that my neighborhood is in trouble. All right, there, the damage is so deep, we can't rebuild by ourselves. We need to get rid of the old foundation and lay a new one. I don't know anything about building houses, but I want to learn. It's not going to be easy. That's OK. Are you coming with us? You have access to a lot of resources. We could use your help. What do you say? This week, I saw this really important post on Instagram. It was a picture of a young black girl holding a poster. And this is what the poster said. We said black lives matter. We never said only black lives matter. We know all lives matter, but we need your help with Black Lives Matter because black lives are in danger. How incredible will this world be if we serve and support each other like family to get through the challenges that we're all seeing in the world right now. And when we start to conquer and work through challenges, we can then together unite and align to solve the next one. I hope that you'll share this video. Thank you so much for watching.